Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. The Twin Tiers is gearing up for a major winter storm. We are under a winter storm watch beginning Saturday afternoon. Meteorology Walker is tracking a system that could bring more than a foot of snow to our area. Here's a Big Fox forecast. As Scott mentioned, we are under a uh, winter storm watch that will take effect this weekend from Saturday afternoon until four o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. There will be some heavy and blowing snow. The winds will be quite uh, brisk out there. Accumulations around a foot to about 20 inches in some areas and places closer to the lakes and in higher terrains. We are going to pick up a little bit more, but everybody uh, in the Twin Tiers will be under that watch, maybe changing into a warning by this weekend. Our future radar is showing there is a system moving through right now. It is going to bring the possibility of more snow showers as we head into the overnight and that will last until early tomorrow morning. And then this system moves out of the way. We are going to clear things out for the latter part of your Friday and then that next storm system will be approaching our area by Saturday. It's a stronger system and it will pull much colder air into the area. But by tomorrow though, maybe a few snow showers, but that will be moving out uh, by the afternoon and we are expecting some bands of heavy rain as we head into uh, your Saturday and Sunday. Again, winds will be picking up, so it's going to be very blustery out there, so there could be some blowing snow, which will cause low visibility, and the snow will be ending by Monday, but Arctic air will start to settle in, and temperatures will be quite cold. It will be cold tonight. Temperatures dropping down into the 20s with light snow up to around an inch tonight, so not a lot of snow. Continuing snow in the early morning hours, but then by the afternoon, Temperatures will be a little bit warmer than today. 39 degrees for the high in Elmira, 38 degrees in Corning, and then we start to drop to below freezing this weekend. So it's going to be blustery, it's going to be cold, and we do have the possibility of blowing snow up to an, a foot could be a possible in our area, maybe a little bit more in the higher elevations. Mostly cloudy on Monday with single digit highs and overnight lows will be below zero. Scott. All right, thank you, Kim. Amira, police want you to do your part to help with snow removal. If you can, please find somewhere other than roads to park. If you can't, follow even odd parking regulations. On even number days, park on the side of the street with the even numbered addresses and vice versa. Police also want to remind you that depositing snow in the road is a violation of New York state law. And the Red Cross has some heat safety reminders for all of us during the storm. If you are using space heaters, keep them far away from anything that can burn, such as bedding, furniture, or clothing. Don't place them on rugs. Plug power cords directly into outlets, never into an extension cord. Turn them off every time you leave the room or go to sleep. Never leave a fire in the fireplace unattended. And use a glass or metal fire screen to keep the fire and embers in the fireplace. And never use a cooking range or oven to heat your home. A women's march planned for Sunday has been postponed because of the weather. The walk will be held next Sunday, January 27th in Elmira. Here's what attendees can expect. It is the first year and we've been working with a committee for a full year since the last March. Many of us went to Seneca Falls last year. It's really an inspirational event, a gathering of women. We have selected eight local women who will be speaking each about a different aspect of women's lives in Wisner Park at one o'clock. And then we'll march just under a mile to Elmira College, which of course has such a great history with women's education and meet there in Coles Hall. We are postponing it one week. So the Women's March Elmira will happen on Sunday, January 27th at Wisner Park at one and then up to Coles Hall. And we did this so that all participants and speakers and volunteers can really enjoy this inspirational event without having to worry about a snowstorm. It all begins at one next Sunday at Wisner Park. We'll be back in a moment. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox.
one confident canine finds its way to a catwalk in India. A fashion show in Mumbai yesterday featured some new trends and perhaps the world's next top model, a stray dog. The pooch joins the models on the runway, strutting its stuff and wagging its tail on the stage as audience members enjoy that show-stopping moment. The models even joined in on the fun, a few of them petting their fellow fashionista. Though it's unknown where the animal came from, it's clear that that pup has found its true calling. <laughs> well, I think for the fashion for the next few days, we'll call for heavy coats because and we are- probably hats and mittens. For sure, because it's gonna be not only cold, but it's gonna be blustery, and there could be some blowing snow this weekend. We do have a batch of snow coming tonight, and then another system bringing uh, that cold air this weekend. 25 degrees for the high on Saturday, and then teen Sunday, single digits on Monday, and overnight lows will be below zero. So bone chilling cold. Yeah, some real chilly ones there. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kim. Thanks for watching us. Have a great night.